Yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? First things first, I gotta mention right out the gate, if you are not subbed to the channel, please consider subscribing because every single sub in the year of 2022 is 10 cents to charity. So by subbing, you are uh, making a small pseudo donation to charity, which, you know, nobody can and uh, hate on you for. So I just bought Aegis, don't want that. Yeah, consider subscribing, it would be amazing. I'm gonna go beads actually because i think beads is going to be more of a defensive pickup than shell or meditation against here and also i'm still looking into analytic wise if i can uh do something for current subs to get kicked in on this uh this charity thing i'm doing for the whole year so i am i am hoping to get you guys involved somehow don't worry it'll happen we both have blue stone, but I actually like really won that fight. The guy really won that fight. I didn't need the beads because he actually just straight up missed, which was dumb on my part that I even did beads. I'm dead here. Oh, I missed my stun. That's important. Important not to miss that. Okay, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Whatever you do, Sam, do not let him catch you. He catches you, you die, and that's on fort. I'm going to just auto attack these like normal because I want mana back. Again, whatever you do, don't let him catch you. I had very good damage on him there, but unfortunately not really anything important damage wise. He can definitely do the red buff. I cannot do those. All right, that's fine. He gets red buff. I mean, Tier has a lot more pressure than uh, Sukiyomi early game anyways, so it's kind of expected that I won't be able to get red buff. I was just seeing if maybe I could break the mold and and uh, win the fight over the red buff, but no big deal. He's got a ton of built-in sustain with his uh, blue stance heal. And to be honest with you, early game as uh, Tsukuyomi, I like blue buff way more than I like red buff anyways. Because his mana is such a big issue. Because you're throwing all those abilities out as often as you can. Oh my. I'm deceased. Never mind, he missed. Hmm... Okay, he does have blink back up, I'm pretty sure. 140 to 170. So when my beads is on 30 second cooldowns, so he's gonna have blink back up. Okay. He went for the heal, but he didn't actually get anything from it, which is amazing. Keep in mind his blink is up. His blink is up now. So I gotta be a bit scared of that. If I'm not, then I'm gonna end up getting fragged. It's 1,050 gold for Rune Forge, which I, I need desperately. And I actually uh, <clears throat> want to say, because I just, uh, a video you aren't going to see, or a match you won't see, because I fucked up really early. I fought Kuvo Fred, and I, as you guys know, on Tsukiyomi, I always go Bluestone into Rune Forge. For some dumbass reason, I went, um, hello. I went Boomba's Hammer against Kuvo. And I immediately lost the game because there's nothing I could do early because I had no sustain. Um, but one of the most incredible reasons... What are you doing, bro? Just walked in, took two tower shots and dashed out. One of the most incredible reasons you want to go Bluestone and Runeforge combined is because if you add their, their uh, regen together, you're getting 40 HP 5 and 30 MP 5. Just by getting one item complete and a starter item. It is so, so good. And I, I talked to Kuvo after the game because I surrendered at like, I don't know. I surrendered at like six minutes. Like I just, I'm a little pressed for time today. So I figured if, if I'm not going to add this game to a recording, I got to just dip. But I was talking to him after and he was like, yeah, dude, I, I never, I never believe in Boomba's Hammer. And I was like, I don't really either unless it's a god I guarantee I can get late game with. He was like, yeah, and duel, especially on, on those guys that you, you don't really know, if you can get late game. 
if if you're getting to level 20 on Tsukiyumi, the game is already either won or lost, you know? So Boombas is not going to do anything different. Unless you're making an insane comeback, which should not have happened in the first place, right? I was like, yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I never go Boombas. I just... I messed up. I always go Bluestone, but I, I... My brain farted. And then he fucking invited me to go... Oh, hello. Duo queue with him. A world champion. Oh, why am I dead? Okay. A world champion invited me to go play with him, and I was so fucking honored. And I totally should have said yes, but I said no because... I have to record Try Hard Thursday. <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right. I added him, so maybe we'll play later. Or he'll forget I exist and I'll never play with him. One of those things is going to happen. I'm not exactly sure which one it is yet, though. <sighs> I can probably win this fight. All right, hitting abilities is not my forte today, clearly. Oh, I didn't even hit that. Okay. Oh, God. He's probably just going to ult, right? Yeah. Expected. Expected. This blue is up. I would love that. I'm going to try to get it. Let's go. Let's go. I definitely should not have won that fight, but I did. Let's go. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Blue buff down in my hands. A kill on the tier. We're feeling good. I have my uh, my breastplate now. I'm very tanky. Next item is going to be a beat stick, though, for sure. I only have 20% cooldown. I really want a soul eater and I really want the other Jotuns, but I just can't afford it yet. And you took a lot of damage dashing through my three, huh? That hit me, huh? Hmm. I am surprisingly able. Hmm. Wow, I'm actually... I really thought he would not back there. It's weird, because... Because I, I know, obviously, if he doesn't back there, I can kill him with ease. But at the same time, like, he's still a tier. He can still whip one out of nowhere and beat my ass for no reason. <clears throat> and I, like I said before, I like blue buff more than red buff. Oh, hello, that scared me. Are you going to walk through that, or are we chilling? Oh. I was not expecting the blink at all. He's probably just going to heal. No? Oh, nice. That breastplate he got? He's feeling that cooldown, man. He's loving it. Interesting.
Oh god. I did not think he could catch me with that one there. Genuinely. Hmm. I'm not backing. I'm not a bitch. Nice. He really thought he was going to kill me. He thought that I would do like the basic generic jukes backwards. Like I'll go into my Phoenix more and I'll be safe. And nope, that's not how my brain works. My brain always goes for the play that's going to get the kill, not the play that's going to live. <laughs> Which, you know, when I say it out loud is probably an issue. <clears throat> but... I have more fun doing this anyway. No big deal. I'm gonna go back, go beat stick. I'll grab my uh my upgraded my upgraded breastplate so that it is 85 protection instead of 65 after he hits me a couple times. He's getting hydras out. Mm. Soul leader is gonna be incredible for me here. Well the Jotuns and the Soul Leader combined are gonna be incredible. He has blink up, I'm pretty sure. And I certainly do not have beads, that is. My guy, you are taking an incredible amount of damage. Yeah, you took way too much damage, dude. <clears throat> I think he dashed through my three. Yeah, my 3 did 357 damage, and that's the lowest level ability I have in the game right now. Because he just dashed through it, thinking it wouldn't do anything. Hmm. Hopefully he does that again. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's super nice for me. I would enjoy that. If you did it like another, I don't know, 12 times maybe? I love playing Tsukiyumi, man. He's so much fun. Oh, hello. That scared the shit out of me. This is not bad, by the way. That fight was not bad at all, because we got... We got his, um... His thorns. Uh, there's nothing over there to heal off. Oh, I, I suck. Hold on. I'm garbage. Garbage and poop. I'm garbage and poop. I'm garbage and poop. Nope. Easy. Nice kills. Nice kills. <clears throat> He's dead for a little bit, but I don't think I have enough minions to get Phoenix, so I'm just going to clear wave and dip. No biggie. I'll get the XP camp too on my way out. All right, I don't know if I should go upgrade this or Soul Eater first, but I'm gonna go this, and the only, literally the only reason I want to go this instead is um, max cooldown. It sets me at max cooldown no matter what. Like even if my blue buff falls off, because uh, I'm not gonna be able to get that blue buff. So at least I'll have all my cooldown needs. Yeah, he got it, damn. Oh, nice play. Might die here. Nice. Alright. I got my I got my Jotuns online. My uh the one that, that heals you when you drop below a certain percentage. And I healed like six hundred HP with my my one. <laughs> it's so stupid, man. Like get your butt in there, minions. Can I get this? Yes. 
Dude, my control as Tsukiyomi is so good. It's so good. Just the overall control you have over a fight from a distance. Oh, I know you have beats. Or uh, blink, not beats. I was prepared for it. The back step. I'm so dead. No, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is my game. This is my game. This is my game. No, I'm doing hot girl shit. Oh, no. No, fuck. You're so much better than me. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it, dude. That play was sick, and I'm pissed. He's so much better than me. Holy shit. Um, I'm just going to go serrated here. It's 20% Ben, so it should be good. I got Fire Minions hitting Titan, or they're next to Titan. I got them pretty low. A little over, or a little less than half. I think at this point, because I already have built-in max cooldown, and I have 73.7 MP5, I think I'm pretty okay with going red buff instead of blue. So I will, by the way. Auto this down a few times. Perfect. I do normally like the uh, the other blue stone better. The the pink one or purple one or whatever you want to call it. Whatever that color is. Because uh, I really like the attack speed I get from just hitting one ability. But, unfortunately, I didn't build it this time because I felt like he has enough HP to where my, my other blue stone would be good. Oh, jeez. Oh, no way. I thought that would kill. Oh! No, I wanted to kill him. <laughs> I wanted to kill him instead of the <laughs> instead of the Titan. Uh, we won anyways. Chi 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 chi. I went for the kill on him and I ended up dying, but it's okay. We still got the win. Anyways, that was a really fun first game of Try Hard Thursday. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. I will see you guys in game number two in about five minutes time. For you, it'll be about a second. Welcome back, boys, to game number two. The uh, the tier from last game said, he, I well, he asked if he was good enough to be in a video. And I said, I'm doing try hard Thursday. My boy, I'm down the rematch. If you want, I'll be slamming cues for the next two hours. And he said, I'm down to lose for the next two hours. <laughs> So I said, okay, maybe, maybe give other people a chance to queue into me because I know people look forward to try our Thursday and they might be queuing and trying to, trying to hit the, hit the fight. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, his, his response was super funny to me. So I figured I would mention it and I'm gonna go med here. I know Aegis is important against Poseidon, yada, 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 yada. I don't care. I'll just alt it. Um, but I told him, yeah, maybe you should let other people kick you into me because I know like a lot of people want to fight Try Hard Thursday. And then I said, uh, but I'm down to rematch a couple times if you want. Maybe not for the whole two hours, but a couple times if you want because it was a very fun game. Last game. It was like we were both equally aggressive, I think. He was more aggressive early. I was more aggressive uh, late because, well, I needed to be and he needed to be. And, you know, the respective aggressions. 
two autos on each of these to kill because mannequins is oh oh B. This clear is going to just make me wish that I had some, pretty much. I hold the secrets of life and death. Do you have mannequins? You don't. So this should be easy peasy for me to confirm. And I lost it. <laughs> wow, would you look at that? Interesting. That should not that that stun definitely did not hit him, by the way. I just, you know, like, I know I call out when, like, shit hits me that definitely shouldn't have hit me. But I also feel like it's good to call out when shit hits them that shouldn't have hit them. Just so I'm equal. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that stun should not have hit him. My guy has an infinite amount of, uh, oh, man, I am winning this fight. Holy Close. Archers are so strong, though. And he's got. Oh, God. He's going to crack the shit out of me. <laughs> he hit level five and just straight up W keyed. <laughs> you could see it in his eyes. The blood. The blood. All he saw was cracking, 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 cracking. Can I have that blue buff, though? No. How I know my. But what if... What if instead... I let you back and I'll do my blue? Or, well, it's technically, it's your blue, but I'm going to take it. And then... I'll come over here and I'll do this. And even though you got two buffs, I will be the one that's ahead. I'll be the one who knocks. How about that? How about them apples? I've never thrown a one as Kronos and just completely missed everything. That's not true. I've probably done it a few times, honestly, but... It's been a while. You're low mana. Red buff is not the Poseidon play. I am slowly clearing using my two for mana sustain while I have the chance. Um, he is not going to ever crack in me, it seems like. I can back now and just get my whatever it's called. Yeah. I'll clear one more wave. I stopped his back a little bit, so I got some time. Oh, he's going Ring of Hecate too. Which is interesting because I wouldn't... Those minions all went flying. I wouldn't have expected the Poseidon to first sight on Ring of Hecate. You normally go uh, Bancrofts on him because the lifesteal you get from Bam Shroud and Bancrofts is insane. But, I mean, if you want to not do that, I'm cool with that too. I tried to ult and I threw my stun out. I tried to ult. I threw my stun out. I tried to ult. Threw my stun out and I tried to ult. And then I threw my stun out when I was trying to alt because I threw my stun out. God. Fudge. Darn tootin' bootin'. That's okay. That's all right. It happens. When you don't get Aegis against a Poseidon, you expect a few of those. You expect a few of those. It was unfortunate the timing of it because it's red buff, but like I said before, I think Poseidon is more of a blue buff carrier in the early game regardless, so I don't hate it too much. What's up, bro? Man, I will say though. Alarm. Ah! Okay, there we go. Okay. I got the blue buff. 
I popped meditation because I assume he wants to fight me. I think that would be a safe assumption. Good thing I saw him on that ward. Oh, he actually got that. That is quite upsetting. Oh, no way, dude. No way. Oh, my God. He's insane. My guy's actually insane. He's so much better than I am. All right. He's going to go Shogun's Kasari. I'm going to go Talisman of Energy because I need the extra HP. He doesn't need the extra HP, but his Kraken is super strong. So he does. Or I need the extra HP. He doesn't. I'm surprised that one hit me. Oh, he went Genji's instead of Shogun's. That's a bad play. I would... I mean, if you're going to start Ring of Hikate, you just got to commit to the attack speed route. How I know my secret is itself a secret. Actually backing. Okay. That's unexpected. The reason I used my three is because it was free mana since I already used my two. I hold the secrets of life. I'm not going to go get that. I'll just back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, stop the back. See if I even give a rat's ass. That's not gonna hit me. Is it wise to deviate from the will of the master? <clears throat> Going more attack speed. I don't know about this, man. That's weird. Like, your damage is gonna be good. Don't get me wrong, but. Going that much attack speed, but not getting shoguns is just so odd to me. It's like, he wants to go two different routes. I ult that, and I am totally okay. Ult for ult, I think, is acceptable in this scenario. You can clear. I'm okay with it. I am 500 gold down, but I'm also... I'm also uh, two deaths down. So if I can keep only a 500 gold deficit while being down two deaths, that would actually be pretty massive for me. And if I can get his blue buff here, that would be even better. It's hard for me to get blue buff though, because his confirm is very nice. With his uh with his two and his one burst. I'm gonna let you deal with those minions and I'm gonna go do your blue buff. Nice. Okay. He used both relics there, actually. My man is relicless at the moment. Nice. That was really good. I got all three buffs and both of his relics. And he definitely does not win this fight right now. I mean, once he gets his two online, maybe he does. But I'm in a pretty okay spot at the moment. My next item I do want is, is Telekines or... Um, Telekines or I don't know, Divine maybe. Yep, yep. The play is very predictable on Poseidon. I could go Toxic Blade actually. I would like Toxic Blade quite a lot. In fact, I think Toxic Blade might be the play. Yeah, I get no damage, but um He has Ring of Hakate is the healing from Vamp Shroud, and he has meditation. Toxic Blade is going to do a lot for me, and obviously the attack speed is nice. You almost got that, actually. Surprising.
Probably wants to crack in me. But I don't know if he can. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. He was uh he was pretty lazy on those backs there. And uh, while I am a strong believer of don't stop backs unless you need to. Uh that was obviously a need to scenario. Also, that's not even true. I stop backs literally as often as I can because I'm a piece of shit human being. But you know, it's fun. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> okay. You pop thorns. I am super not scared of you. Hmm. Oh, I got hit into that. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit more scared now. But with my lifesteal and my meditation, I am vibing. Thank you. As long as I don't get cracked here, I'm in good a place. He cracked me. <laughs> Please. Oh my god, it didn't kill him. I like how he said the one thing. As long as I don't get cracked, immediately I get cracked. Like in the same fucking second that I say. <laughs> so stupid. I'm not gonna kill you, relax. Oh, his back went off just in time. Um. All right, let's go tell kinds. My damage is stare good, stare good. I'm gonna go beads because the the main thing, the main reason you die to a kraken, is not the damage of the kraken itself most of the time. It's the fact that you get knocked up and then full comboed into the three, into the uh, into the auto attacks, into the one. Like he just gets a full combo off on you. That's the reason you die to kraken. And with beads, he doesn't get that free combo off on you. It's almost like it's almost like a, a Thanatos landing on you or something. You're not dying to the execute most of the time. They're initiating with that. You're dying to the sight that hits you after because that's your chunky monkeys. Same kind of concept. I'm surprised he's not coming over here for red. I'm so obnoxious, man. Oh my god, wait. I did a ton of damage to him, actually, just now. Dude. My damage is crazy. I mean, Telkines, right? Like, you get a lot of power with that item. You get a ton of power with Telkines, and my attack speed is literally 2.2, and that's without my two active, right? No, so it's yeah, I'm I'm max attack speed. I'm attack speed capped with my two active. So I no longer need attack speed. Um I already have Toxic Blade, so I don't really need any more anti-heal. Uh cooldown could be okay, like a Chronos pendant. Some of our tactics are So I'll grab that, I guess. A rod would be nice too. The thing is, I don't need uh, the attack speed rod because I'm already attack speed capped with my two active. But I guess without my two active, it could be nice. A little bit more attack speed without my two active. The I don't know. I am a big fan of cooldown on Kronos. But I never build it. Mainly because... 
going an extra slot for no reason seems i mean it's not ob obviously it's not for no reason but going extra slot for a cooldown it's not bad right i think it's actually good but the, you're missing out on damage and because he's such a heavy auto attack based mage oh my god look at that minion um because he's such a heavy auto attack based mage it's really easy to just want more auto attack because it's i mean it's your main source of damage right i am not scared of you probably gonna crack in me here Very nice. Oh, you are doing a lot of damage, actually, my guy. That is Chronos pendant online. I got my rod online, though, right? Oh, no, I'm so 200 gold off. Want to fight me or something, bro? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Back away. Back away, brother. I hold the secrets of life and death. Oh, you have Kraken again. I did not expect you to have another Kraken. To be honest. Maybe I do need some. Maybe I do go Chronos Pendant instead of the Rod. Um... Okay, I will. I will. I'll go the Chronos pendant. He's using his two against tight or against uh, Phoenix, which doesn't work, by the way. Secrets reveal themselves to me. Forces propel me forward. Hmm. Let's not lose this game. That'd be awkward. I hold the secrets of life and death. That's my strat, huh? What's your strat? Jesus. That was a lot of damage very quickly. I mean, yo, I'm doing a ton, though, too. I'm doing a ton of damage, too. Oh, man. <clears throat> One more auto, I won the game right there. These games against him are actually really intense. I like them a lot. Oh, he went Sacrificial Shroud, so his Kraken just chunks. I respect that play. I don't think I've ever seen a Poseidon go Sack Shroud. It's a highly respectable gameplay scenario. I'm too scared to fight right now. These fights are insane, dude. Nice. Miss Kraken. Did a lot of damage to me there, but didn't get the Kraken. You know what? I kind of want to sell my Toxic Blade for uh, Bancroft's because he has no anti-heal. Let's go. Let's go. Ugh. Jesus, dude. Nice game. Very intense. Holy crap. <sighs> GG, man. That was an intense game. Those fights were so close. And the Sack Shroud...
Poseidon play, because I went greedy and I didn't go Aegis, right? I went Meditation. Um, that Sack Shroud, Poseidon ult, even, even on the outer ring, does so much damage. Like, holy shit. You went Ob Shard. I, I think if you went... I think Rod instead of uh, Ob Shard, you win that game. Honestly. I really do think that. Because he would be doing so much more damage Rod instead of Ob Shard. I also forgot I could upgrade my med to get my cooldowns faster. That was a very good game, though. Very good game, though, man. GG. All right. I will see you guys in game number three. Hopefully, the games will keep going the same way they've been going because the, they, are, they are going really well. I'm having a lot of fun with these games on Try Hard Thursday so far. I mean, shit. Like, that was a Kronos game that I just went three and three. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back. Game number three, I'm pretty sure. I'm going into... Well, actually, I was going to go Bluestone, but I think I'm going to go... Uh, Tainted Steel. I've really been loving the Tainted Steel start with Bastet recently. And actually, I might even... Well, not only the Tainted Steel with Bastet, but the Tainted Steel with any... With any god. I've really been loving the start because it's so... Uh, it's a lot stronger than you think it is because it's 15 physical power. Most starter items are only 10 physical power. So you're getting a 50% increase on physical power right from the start. And you're getting... Uh, I think 15 defense too for physical and magical. So your diving tower is easier. You're tanking buffs easier. You're tanking minions easier. You're tanking enemies easier. Um, And it's, it's real nice. It's real nice. I think I am going to go into the soul leader. Like I said, though, I don't know if it's a good play. I always, I've always liked soul leader on Bastet. I mean, even before she got reworked like 16 times or whatever, even all the way back then, I, I always liked Soul Leader on Bastet. So I don't know if it's, you know, good necessarily. But what I do know is that I like it. And um, sometimes whether things are good or not, if you like it, you do better with it. So I'm doing very good damage to him. All right. I could maybe kill him here. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just have my life steal going. I really don't think I want red buff at all. Oh man, that is super upsetting. That is super upsetting that I didn't get it. Please don't tell me that hits me. Okay. Uh, 84 damage in auto. Ouch. Yeah, he gets my, uh, my blue buff too, I'm pretty sure here. I don't want you to get my blue buff. But I really don't have a choice. Nice. Jesus, dude. The damage output he does. That's insane. Yeah, over 80 damage in auto. Meanwhile, my, uh, my 2 does 80 damage. You know, like, Jesus. That's incredible. In a bad way. That is incredible in a bad way. I need to get his blue buff now or I'm fucked. Straight up. I hate that. And there it is. I'm fucked. Okay. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh no. This is really bad. Uh, this is a really, really bad start. He got every buff. And he got a kill. And I'm doing a new start. And I have no mana sustain. No mana buff. And I'm fighting a soul. 700 gold down. Holy. This is... This is traumatic.
Oh, if that hit, I could have killed, but unfortunate. Okay. Wait, my two didn't kill any of those minions? Wait, you're serious? My two did hit him, but it didn't do enough. All right, let's go get Soul Eater. Damn, dude, this is a bad start. I can tell you right now, I will never start Soul Eater again. Uh, my damage seems just completely awful. Seems honestly awful. It's going to be really hard to do much here. Yeah, I'm 900 gold down now. Power is almost dead. This is, this is looking really not fun so far. Oh, jeez. I need a Jotun's and a beat stick and some defense. It's a lot to ask for. Uh, he probably takes my tower here, honestly. <clears throat> no. Doing my blue buff. I'd much rather him do that than take my tower, to be honest with you. So I am okay with that. Damn. I need to hit that, those bastard alts, man. And I'm doing good damage when I do that, but then he just heals it up. Because I don't have enough... I don't have a beat stick or anything, and I don't have enough mana to keep up that kind of poke forever. Gonna have to let him hit me for a second. No way, bro. Where's my MP5? Where's my MP5? Damn, dude. He had one HP and I was four mana away. Four mana away from my two that gets the kill and wins the game. Oh my god. That's tower down. That's tower down 2k cold behind. What the fuck? Dude. Going Soul Eater was such a huge mistake. My god. I need it stacked so I can try to go in and out of fights. And I also need Jotuns immediately. I really need that mana. I need Beat Stick too so he stops healing as much. So I can maybe poke, uh, poke out a fight. Damn, I need a lot. I need a lot. Pretty sure he's doing uh, fire. He is. Amazing gameplay. I'm so happy I did that. I hit the alt and dragged him away from Bull Demon. Which gave me enough uh, leeway to get Bull Demon myself. That's so massive. I have my med. Damn, if I still don't get the kill here, that's so bad. I just don't have the uh, the mana for it. Oh, 
Oh, that's so good. That kill is so massive for me, man. It's so massive, my gosh. I don't even care about Bull Demon. Or, uh, yeah, I don't even care about Tower or anything. I just want to see if I can get a buff. I just want to see if I can get a buff. That's all. One buff. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to grab... Uh... I'm honestly, I'm going to grab Horrific. I know he's slow immune in his three, but once he's done out of his three... Slowing him down is going to be huge. Okay. Oh, man. If that hit, that would have been super nice. Super cool. He actually beats that. It's interesting. I don't know why he got beads other than the one time at Bull Demon that I caught him away. I guess that really traumatized him. <laughs> I really want blue. Uh, I can't get in. He's doing it right now. That's fine. I need beat stick anyways. I'll just back. What does upgraded horrific do for me here? The debuffs effects are increased by 10%, stacking up to three times by doing more damage. An enemy is dealt 30% of their max HP, they're trembled. I'll probably just do the trembled one. I mean, 30% is a big ask. But, uh... I mean, it's the only one I think that makes sense for me. Man, once I get beat sick, it's going to feel so nice. Full HP. Oh, one of my uh, one of my ticks on my two didn't actually go off there. I am comfortable with these fights, though. I feel like I'm doing not bad with them, which is massively important. Gonna do the minis here. Nice. I jumped in and got the red buff. Rooted him down. His three is down. His two is gonna still hurt if it hits me, but I've been okay at dodging those for now. All right. Huge turn, dude. Huge swing. I'm still a thousand gold down. Don't get me wrong. Right? Like it's still not. I'm still not safe, but. Um, I do have beat stick now and I have tainted steel as well. So my anti heals at 55%, which is more anti heal than he's actually healing. So that's really good. And I also have two forms of healing myself between soul leader and my Jotuns. And he has no anti heal yet. So I'm in terms of fight swings, like I am, I am feeling very, very good. All right. We horrific him and we ult. I uh, missed or I, I missed because he ulted. CC immunity. I, I knew he would do the CC immunity. I was hoping that I would still get the initial damage of the ult, though. Because it still hits, like, initially pretty hard, but... All right. I have to make sure that I always have beat stick on him, which is the issue right now. I also want to make sure that he doesn't get this blue buff. He's going Toxic Blade, which is smart on his part.
minions will be right here. Uh, shoot them at minions, please. Not me. Nice. As soon as I walk forward, he just goes and does his three, which is good. That means he's scared. Just going to back immediately. I'm going to go Talisman of Energy here. And it's weird because the reason is not the attack speed. It's actually the HP that I want and also the movement speed that I want. Because you get... You get a uh, twelve percent movement speed, as well. I think movement speed is going to be a big aspect here. Fine by me. He got his toxic blade online. He's feeling confident. He does do a lot of damage. Man, he always jukes right, and I never catch it. Wait a second. My two? I'm dead. Oh, massive cat. Massive cat. I healed a ton with my Jotuns and my Soul Eater, so... Mm. Oh, it's good that- it's good that he met it just now while I had my beat stick on him. Always jukes that way, dude. I told you. I told you. However, I didn't get the kill because um, beads, but still not bad. Group these up, and Soul Eater will uh, do me good here. Oh. Okay. There's his ult again. Blue buff is mine. Wave clear should be mine here. Nice. Amazing. 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 I don't know what I want last item, though, is my issue. Like, obviously, I want to upgrade Tainted Steel, so I'll have 100% anti-heal. But last item is what I'm curious about. He went to Vine and Toxic, so he's 100% he's anti-healing me, too. Um, I think I might just go... Honestly, Titan's Bane. Like, he's not that tanky. He only has 150 protection. But 20% of that... I mean, what, what is that? That's like 30, right? 30 pen. 30 pen is better than any kind of uh, base pen item. There's no base pen item that has 30 pen on it. So... He ulted. He ulted my ult. That's really good news. Because his ult is way better than mine. Consi especially considering I haven't fucking hit it this game. Well, I, I hit it once, but he beats it. Oh, that two hitting me is tragic. That slow is brutal for me. I really want to stop him from getting red buff. Mm. 
All right, that's really good. He doesn't get red buff. I did hit the two there. And alt goes out, alt goes out. Horrific him. He's stuck in my three. He beads. I hit everything. I hit everything. Everything, everything, everything. That's so good. Please tell me that gives me a Phoenix. This will be an incredible comeback if I can make it happen. Um, I don't know if I have enough minion HP to get Phoenix, though. I do. All right, perfect. It's not even so much minion HP, but it's the fact that I was able to keep full HP during the fight. I don't know, man. Crusher or Titans? I'm just going to go Titans. I'm going to go 500 pot, and I'm going to go upgraded meditation. So eventually... Eventually, I can uh, get that thing that lowers my cooldowns more. What's my what's my CDR, by the way? It's 30%, but I have Red Pot on now, so it's max. Um, I think I'm just going to back and upgrade my med for the extra cooldowns for the next fight. I think that's probably worth it. He's gaining attack speed. So he's at, he's going to be max attack speed now with that uh that arrow, but I think that's okay. I mean, I guess I should pick this up. No reason not to. Oh man, my burst damage is so good. Once I got, once I got my Titan's Bane online, and I had my Red Pot. No, I mean, I guess not to mention my upgraded starter item too with the extra anti heal. I guess everything just worked in tandem all of a sudden at the end there, where I could just all in, all like it did. All of a sudden, it didn't matter what he did, and I could just all in, and I would win the game because I guess my meditation giving me cooldowns i can just rotate so fast it was nice that was a good game nice comeback i love you sam well played oh shit man thanks so much <laughs> what a what a kind man everyone today has been so nice watch <laughs> watch me queue up for my last game of tryhard thursday watch me queue up and just what's going on <laughs> i looked over to my right and Shiv and Appa are just sitting there at the table doing this. I wish I could show you guys because Appa's doing the same thing. <laughs> Appa's sitting here just staring. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching so far. I'm going to do one more game. I hope to see you there. And uh, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Welcome back. What the fuck? <laughs> What the? I okay. I it was something you guys won't see because we were just talking. Something that we were talking about was I I wanted to play like Cupid or something like that. But she was recommending Cupid. I was like, yeah, that would be fun. But I do a tryhard Thursday, and I'll I I might lose, you know. And I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Go ahead, go ahead and behold. Now I'm fighting Sylvanas, but. It is Sizzix, apparently. Sizz God X, so I would assume that's just Sizzix. Makes sense to me. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe he'll whip out some, some shiz. I wonder if he's streaming. Does he stream? I actually don't even know if he's streaming. Wait, he got perma banned from Smite. He got IP banned, didn't he? That can't be him. Unless, you know, unless he plays Smite off stream. With the new IP, which uh, most people do if they get banned. Oh, hello. All right, he did just like kind of shit on me while I was doing red buff. Ow. But my clear is way better than his, so we're vibing. 
Wait, did he outclear me? <laughs> my, I said my clear is way better than his, and I'm literally outcleared. Auto attack Sylvanas. What a fun thing. What a fun thing. I hate when I am like playing a tryhard god versus Sylvanas or like uh, somebody who picked a fun god. Because I, I've been on the other end, you know? Like, I've played this matchup as Sylvanas probably over a dozen times. And it sucks every time I do it. And now I'm doing the same thing to him, and I feel bad about it, man. <laughs> like, straight up, I just feel bad about it. Well... Um, we stood there, we stared off after I got his blue, and he looked slightly demoralized. By slightly, I mean completely and utterly demoralized. So, he probably is gonna quit the game. I'll give it about 30 seconds, see if he shows up. He did actually show up, never mind, he didn't quit. He was just upset about the blue buff, I guess. Decided to give his life for the blue. But he's actually still playing, which is good. I didn't think he would. Pop the one, dash out of base. That's a hundred. The one and the three is a hundred and twenty mana. When I only have five hundred and seventy mana. So using both of those abilities in base is the play, by the way. If anyone needs a tip on Medusa, right when you start the game, use your one. Because that thing is so mana heavy. Why why are his min minions glowing like that? He's gonna alt me if I step a little too close. He's gonna alt me and wish that I was dead. He's gonna alt me and try to get me killed. This sounds like Name Chip Skylark. <laughs> I like how uh <coughs> I like how the creator of uh Fairly Odd Parents is a YouTuber now, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew that, but he is and he's very successful. I'm not gonna expose him because I don't know if he's as it publicly known, but he is, and it's sick. I wonder if he knows that people like children not necessarily children, but like, you know, preteens. Um, they use Chip Skylark songs to know how long to brush his teeth. For those who don't know, <laughs> it's said that if you listen to a Chip Skylark song, that is the length. The length of his songs is how long you should brush your teeth. <laughs> On PS4, so I don't know if you can see this, but you, can you pause if I'm not back? I can't see messages either. Okay, well, if you can't see messages, there's no type, no reason to message you back. I will pause if you're not back. Yes. Yes. I mean, I, there's no point in me responding because he said he can't see, but I will pause. I don't even know. I don't even know what he means because... He never even DC'd. But I'll pause. I'll wait it out. All right, boys. He's back. Sorry. I I, I was just uh, silent during that little section. So I, um, I'm just going to cut that out of the video. Don't worry. Nothing happened. I just paused waiting for him. All right. I'm going to hit the B button. I'm going to get this and go probably just into an Aussie. I don't really need, um, don't really need defense probably yet. His damage isn't too incredible. I will say if he ults me though, it's going to freaking hurt. So I will need defense at some point. Just right now I'm feeling okay about it. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Damn, my damage is crazy strong. I mean, I have Transcendence and Red Buff, right? So, 
That power spike is definitely not looked down on. I wonder if I circle around here and give a kill. I missed. I missed. I really thought it would hit. Didn't hit, I missed. Back. Alright. Honestly, nothing really going on right now. I feel so bad, like I said, when I fight people that play Sylvanas, because I know... Like, I, I've i seen it so many times from the other end, and it is so demoralizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The damage is not good enough to scare me just yet. It was close, I'll admit. It was closer than I thought it would be. I think the, uh, the attack speed slow from his mannequins really helped him a lot in that fight. A lot more than I thought it would, to be completely honest. Oh god. Nice kill, dude. Nice kill. That was a nice pluck. I cannot be upset. That was a nice pluck. You know what? I, I, I want to go Aegis because it's the best play, right? Like, he's obviously going to try to full combo me with Aegis. Or he's going to full combo me with his ult. But I, feel, I just feel bad, man. Like, Aegis is obviously the best play here. But going Aegis just means that he can't kill me anymore. Unless I do the dumb shit that I just did, which, you know, I am me, so there's a high possibility of that happening. But, you know what? At the same time, it's Try Hard Thursday. And the spirit of the video is to try hard. Right? The spirit of the video is don't care who your opponent is. Try your best. See if you can win. Right? Even if you're behind. Never surrender. Try your best. See if you can win. And I love that spirit of video, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna stop feeling bad. I'm gonna do what I think I should do to win the game. Right now, I believe that to be Bull Demon, and then taking Tower. If he decides to fight me, it is no competition. Because when he does these things, I just Aegis it, and I ult him. All right. Like I said, a bit of a try-hard play there, but it's try-hard Thursday. I like the spirit of the video, especially because in other videos, I go weird builds most of the time or, or weird gods and just, you know, see what happens. Today's my day to vibe with my good gods, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that seriously. I'm going to choose to take that seriously. Hmm. Oh god. Why'd he shell? I guess he thought I would try to fight him, but I'm not gonna fight you under Phoenix when my minions are one HP. Um I guess I should just back. I can go I can go shoguns here. Not shoguns, uh talisman. I don't need anti heal against him. Like, Sylvanas' healing is okay. His two's healing is okay at best, I think. I don't think it's worth, like... Like, I'll go Toxic Blade. It's a good stat item, so it's worth going Toxic Blade. But it's not like, oh, I gotta get all my anti-heal. I should get Cursed Onk. I should get Beat Stick and Toxic Blade. I should get Pestilence, you know, stuff like that. I think I just want to focus on some attack speed. A little bit of defense. I will say, his plucks have been nice. He's had some solid pluckerinos. Mm. 
I guess I'll just go get red buff. It's not even coming this way. All right. We're just going to auto these down then. For Aussie. <laughs> Bull Demon will spawn soon and then I'll get Bull Demon again. And then we'll be chilling. I actually, I would love more attack speed. I feel like my attack speed is horrible. 1.5. I'll go Toxic Blade next. Not even, not even for the anti-heal, but 30% attack speed and 15 base pen. It's nice. Toxic Blade is such a good item. At only, like, those stats, 60% anti-heal for 2200 gold. Like, the stat line of, of Toxic Blade is actually insane. Okay. He ulted me and horrific me and used his 2 and his 1. And it did 600 damage. Oh, we actually got it. Impressive, impressive. I will die before I give you this buff. He got a he got a bit greedy there. He was going for the kill when uh when he most definitely should not have. He got just just slightly greedy there and uh almost paid the price for it with his life. He did have to waste his shell, which is good for me. Um I do want a toxic blade, like I said, just because the attack speed will be amazing. And then I'll go into a kins. Again, just more attack speed, really. Do I even want to pick up the blue buff? Probably not. I probably just hold out for red. I wonder if he's circling around to go clear my wave by tower. Oh, there he is. I just straight up stood still. Like, I just stood still while he was using what he had on me. Horrific and his root and everything autos. <laughs> and I stood still. I'm full HP and he's, he's a little over half. Dude, I feel so bad. I've been there and it sucks so much, man. <laughs> well... Unfortunately, that game was kind of lame. I mean, he died at the blue buff because he was upset. He did kill me one time. I'll admit that uh, he plucked me really well. Um, But, you know, is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this Try Hard Thursday. I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, Wait, how did I... I was in GM before, and then I won a game, and now I'm not in GM. Uh, okay, I'm definitely in GM. But. No, whatever. Who cares? Doesn't matter.
Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had a ton of fun making it. I think uh, four out of the five games I played, or three out of the four. I'm not exactly sure how many games I played. But every game other than that last one was super fun. The last one I just felt bad about because when I fight a Sylvanas, you know, like I said, the whole time, and it sucks. But um, yeah, no, I had a ton of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did make it this far, make sure to comment down below. Uh, I love you, but also don't get a big head about it. You're stupid, but I love you. But you're good at smite, but also not that good. Don't get a big head about it again. Comment that, please. Thank you. And that's it, really. That's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.